Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I want to show you a really cool eco-friendly project. So I wanted to show you how you can make a baggie for shopping. So these are usually used for um, veggies and fruits, but you can use them for pretty much anything else as well. So the project is going to be super simple, as I mentioned, eco-friendly since the baggie is reusable and that way you don't use as much plastic and you have a really nice, really pretty baggie as a result. So let's get started, stay tuned. So the project is super simple, you need a piece of fabric that you like. I have here a bit thicker material, but you can use whatever you like or have lying around the house, cotton, stretchy materials, whatever, and that's going to be our rim. The baggie itself is out of a thinner material, something super thin and if possible transparent too and then a nice band or rope or whatever you like, maybe even a shoelace and some safety pins. Also, we're gonna use some thread, fabric scissors and something to measure with and we will use our sewing machine. I didn't have a lot of this material so I'm kinda limited in my baggy size but I think it should work so it's 18 times 20 centimeters or originally 18 times 40 the piece itself but I think it's cool when it's just folded on the bottom side but you could of course take two pieces and sew them up together so have two individual pieces separated that you put together and then you would have a stitch running on every side, all the three sides. So as you wish, one piece folded with two stitches or three stitches all around. So apart from that, you need the doubled width of your baggie plus a bit in the height for your rim. So in my case, it's 18 um, times two and on top I have about 10 centimeters since we fold that as well. And my end rim, so to say, will be less, so make sure it's a bit wider to start with since we fold it later. So this is the first step with this rim section. So let's fold it in half like this. I forgot to say, feel free to use pins to make things easier for you. And then do a straight stitch along the longer side. The two ends should remain open. So I forgot to tell you that before you fold this together, you need here a section also folded and then you have it easier later when you want to turn it inside out and it will look much neater. And your edges are going to be much nicer um, as an end result, of course. Now sew along this line. And now you can put your bag section together, fold the piece or pieces together and sew along all the sides that need a stitch and leave the top section open. Now turn your loop inside out with the help of a safety pin. It's easier if you use a bigger one if your material is a bit thicker like mine. Now you need both your pieces. So first off the transparent baggy part and the top rim part and now try to align the stitch and the top. You can also leave a bit of the rim above the actual ending of your transparent fabric or your thinner fabric and then sew together 
and you can again use pins. Here we are now. I'll do the ending one more time so that the edge is nice and secure. And then we are just missing a rope or band inside. So here is my band. I already put it through here again with my safety pin. Um, so yeah, this baggie is awesome for, as I said, fruit and veggies, maybe mushrooms or something like that. And the cool thing is that you can wash it when you need it and simply reuse it each time so you don't use plastic as much. The cool thing is you can also customize it, make it look the way you want it to look, make different sizes, um, use different materials. And yeah, I think that's a really great thing that you can make it your own. By pulling the band and tying a knot, you can make sure that nothing falls out as well. And also, I love how my rim matches my band, so of course you can play around with that. So I love that there is a lot of playroom in this project, and that it's also eco-friendly and a really good solution. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to let me know in the comment section what you think. You can also subscribe to our channel for free and that way you get notified every time we post something new. You can also shoot us a thumbs up if you like this video and would like to see more and feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!